Hi everyone, I'm Jumana and I'd like to show you a method of making baklava in 10 minutes. You heard me right. This is a very speedy method that you could use when you're pressured for time or any time and you'll get the same delicious tasting baklava that people will think you spent hours slaving on. So we can get started. Let me go over what you need. You need to have a pan a 9 by 13 standard pan, baking pan, you need to get some filo dough. One pound of filo dough, which you will find in any supermarket these days, or you could even order online. And uh, the critical thing about the filo dough is when you work with it, you want to keep it covered. So what you need is a wet towel that you wring up so that it's damp. You need some nuts of your choice, now the nuts can be kept, um, if it's pistachios, you don't need to chop them. If you use pecans or walnuts, you could chop them coarsely. Some syrup that you can prepare two weeks ahead of time. And some uh, melted butter or a combination of butter and oil if you want less butter. You also need are some tools and also basic tools. You need a baster, what you've used for a turkey, a brush, a spatula, a good knife, and if you want to be precise with cutting equal size pieces, you could use a ruler. So let's get started by first um, greasing up the pan a little bit with our baster and The filo dough gets um, defrosted in the fridge at night, overnight. So you lay, lay your sheets flat, take your pan, and with a knife, or you could use a pizza cutter, you set your pan within half an inch of the edge of the dough, and then you score it here. You score the dough, you remove the pan. What you're gonna end up with is one side is going to be your filler and one side is going to be all the layers on the baklava. So you could take knife or scissors or knife and cut your filo. You could also use a pizza cutter if it's easier for you. Okay, so we've got, on one side we've got the dough we're gonna use to lay on the pan and we're gonna use the other section will be used to scrunch up as a filler and to give it volume. We're gonna use 10 sheets for the bottom portion. We're gonna use these as filler and then we're gonna use two sheets to cover the filler and then the last 10 sheets for the top. These ones, since we're not gonna use right away, we're going to cover with a damp towel and get started. So let's first lay out the first two sheets. Now you're gonna lay two sheets at a time and don't worry if they don't look picture perfect at this point, it doesn't matter. And each time you lay your two sheets, you baste until all 10 sheets are used up. Now here comes the fun technique. This is the one that'll allow you to make baklava in just 10 minutes. You take one sheet of this and you scrunch it. You could let your inner toddler free. And the next one you scrunch and you place on the pan. You scrunch it. This is what my mother used to do to me when I was a year and a half old. She used to put me in a corner with newspapers and I would scrunch them happily for hours on end there. Okay. Now this one we don't want to dry out so we take our wet towel, we cover this with plastic and with some of the wet towel. It'll keep it moist. Okay, so we're going to butter this generously with the baster. Okay. And 
end, use a couple sheets. Let me take two at a time. Let's use a couple of sheets to lay up here and that's gonna provide a smooth surface for your nuts. At this point, what do I do? I take my nuts on which I have put a little bit of syrup, about three tablespoons of syrup, and a little bit of butter, about two ounces. The nuts get mixed. Some people put sugar on the nuts, but what happens is after you've cooked your baklava, the sugar doesn't cook and it stays gritty. So when you put the syrup on the nuts, it's a nicer feel. Okay, so you lay your nuts here and with your spatula, you take a spatula and you just flatten it so that it's all over the pan. Now I've used pistachios because pistachios are traditional in Lebanese cooking, but I've used pecans and pecans taste great in baklava. You can also throw in chocolate chips if you like or whatever your heart desires. So this is the layer of nuts all done. And now we're going to finish the baklava with the last 10 layers of filo sheets. So one, Two. Again, doused a little bit in butter, just like that. One and two. See? Was that easy or what? Now that all the sheets have been laid on the pan, what you're going to do is tuck them in. Now we're going to baste the top a little bit and tuck it in. We're going to tuck the sheets of phyllo in the pan. Okay. At this point, if you want to cut the baklava, you could use a ruler and you see that you've got nine inches. So you're going to cut three rows of three inches in width. And then you're going to cut diagonally. So now you just bake it for about 30 minutes until it's golden. And I'll show you what to do once you pull it out of the oven. There's the baklava out of the oven. And time for the syrup. Now what, you, what I've done is I haven't used a whole lot of syrup. So um, about three quarter cup to a cup at the most. So you're gonna pour the syrup down the creases. I don't know if you can hear, but you will hear it sizzle. And the reason I pour it down the creases is so that the top of the baklava stays crisp. There. There you go. So now you let the baklava soak up the syrup for a couple hours. Don't cover it. Leave it the way it is. And then you just simply cut and serve. And then you get to enjoy this and it'll stay fresh for about three weeks. If you would like a detailed recipe of this baklava, I encourage you to come and visit my website, tasteofbeirut.com. In that website, you will find up to 500 easy, user-friendly recipes that you can do, that you could even involve your children with and have the whole family enjoy with step-by-steps and uh, lots of pictures, and you can be guaranteed that they're all gonna be healthy and delicious.